Good morning. Hello again. You're watching Sky News Breakfast. Now, organized criminal gangs are forcing themselves into the homes of vulnerable people in order to sell drugs or to use their homes as a base for trafficking. It's a tactic known as cuckooing. And now charities are calling on the authorities to do more to support its many victims. Becky Cottrell met some of those who've been exploited and sent this report. Cheshire police suspect a gang from Merseyside is bringing drugs into the county, using local houses to store or sell Class A substances. They don't want to deal out in the streets because it's, it's easier for us to catch them. The police say the gang uses a tactic called cuckooing. So what they will do is look for a vulnerable person whose address they can cuckoo, and that's the term, that's what it's known as, similar to the birds stealing the, uh, the other bird's nest. Come on, and you get. <laughs> what makes someone vulnerable depends. Okay? It could be they have a disability or they're elderly, but often it's their drug habit. That's how Sarah was targeted. We've changed her name and her voice to protect her. She was using crack cocaine and heroin. It started where the people I used to get me drugs off, I would meet them, but then they would start to come to my home to drop them off. Me thinking they were doing me a favour, thought they were being kind. Then slowly but surely they would turn up and they would come in and then they'd come in all hours of the night and in the morning without warning. If Sarah didn't let them in, they'd scream outside her flat until she opened the door. Soon they'd completely taken over her home and she became a prisoner. Terrified, she barely moved from the sofa, not even to shower. There's times when I didn't want to be here. It was easier not to be here. And then I was thinking about my family. Um, and I didn't want to put them through that. And I couldn't tell my family I was using drugs again um, because I didn't want them to be disappointed. So there was no way out. But eventually she did get out. One night, Greater Manchester Police raided her home looking for the criminals. They found Sarah. They moved her away from the area and she's now safe and off drugs. Sarah is perhaps a more obvious victim, but the line between the vulnerable and the gang can become blurred. People who've been cuckooed may end up committing crimes for those that exploit them. We can't then say, well, if you've been involved in criminal activity, you're not a victim. That's just not how it's happening. So knowing that individuals are coerced, are forced into conducting acts that look like to be criminal acts, I think we've got to move forward, both in legislation and in implementation, to recognise them as victims. Sarah lived in fear of the police coming to her home. In the end, it was the thing that saved her, although her escape meant she had to leave behind family and friends. But she considers herself lucky and worries about all those who still need to be rescued. Becky Cottrell, Sky News. And if you or anyone you know has been affected by the issues in that report, the UK Modern Slavery and Exploitation Helpline is 0800 121 700. It's on your screen right now.